Hi! Over the past couple of weeks, I started a brand new hardcore survival island challenge in 1.21 and since I have just reached the 100th day, I decided to combine it into one video for all of your viewing pleasure. Please enjoy, don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel. Ah, traveller, I can see that you've come from afar. Allow me to join you and let me tell you a tale of one of my adventures. No, I'm I'm good. I'm just waiting for it a... It all began oh, many okay. days ago no after previous successful adventures. I decided to find myself a new island and strand myself alone. It was going to be a dangerous task that only the most skilled and expert island survivors could imagine. But I knew that... Give me that! Hey, give that back! Now, where was I? Why did it explode? Oh, yes. I remember it like it was yesterday. So let me be 100% clear about this series. You are not about to see episode one. I got the perfect star in hardcore Minecraft. Episode two, I got full, full Neverite beacons and two of the rarest axolotls. Episode three, I spawned Harry right into my game and caused a war longer than Lord of the Goddamn Rings. No, you're not going to see that. Instead, you're going to see something a bit more low key. I found myself an island which is kind of similar to the first island I ever survived on. It's very grassy. It's very nice. Lots of flowers around. Oh yeah, there's one small problem though. There's no trees on this island. I've for 1.21 instead of doing the usual 100 days for but I'm gonna break this up into individual episodes. But this is episode 1 of the 1.21 Survival Island Challenge. Hey, Haven, why don't you go ahead and put the rules of the challenge on the screen right now? Ooh, fancy. What do you guys think of my Bilbo Baggins skin, by the way? I'm be Bilbo Baggins, but I kind of just look like I'm sort of old school war boy, if you know what I mean. You know, you know what I mean. So today's episode is really simple, incredibly simple. I want to obtain myself three little things, maybe four. Firstly, I'd like to make myself a good supply of... Uh, uh, wood. Wood would be nice. I kind of need some of that because uh, as you can see, I don't currently have any. Secondly, I'd like to get myself a solid food source set up, whether that just be the wheat from these seeds, if I get any, that is. I'd like to obtain a nice set of just basic armor. Maybe I'll get some enchants. That'll be quite nice. And then finally, I think I need to start myself up a nice little house, maybe over the water somewhere. But that pretty much starts this off. I think the obvious place to start is right there with this shipwreck. Don't really see many other options for shipwrecks around me. Let's have a quick gander. Very lucky to have one piece of sugarcane with me. Could avoid any torch that usually gives me. Thank God there's glow squid. Guy, 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 don't have to worry. There's glow squid. Yeah, I'm only seeing the one shipwreck, so I guess that's where we're gonna start. And so, with a lot of passion and the few resources around me, I knew my adventure was going to be long. Yeah, I'll take two rum and cokes and, uh, you got pretzels? Yeah, we have unsalted pretzels. Are you even paying attention? Bro, I don't know who you are. I'm just waiting for my buddies to get here. Why are you still even talking? Because if this adventure is not told, it will be lost to lands of old. Oh, uh, you're trying to do a bit for a YouTube video, yes, aren't I'm you? Yes, I'm trying to do a bit for a YouTube video. Just keep up. Ah, uh, hello trees. Hello land. If I was a more dirty boy, I'd probably come over there and steal a couple of your saplings. However, I'm one of those nerds who follow the rules. I know, very lame. Alright, let's see what we can do in here. Alright, chest one. Uh, I mean, I'll take the iron, but it doesn't really give me much. Of course, I'm not gonna leave the emeralds or the lapis or the I nuggets, I, I guess. And I'm going to drown. <laughs> I lied. I lied straight to your face. I'm so sorry. Though I will take the basic buried treasure map. Maybe I can get some good things with this buried treasure map. That's just a normal map. Buried treasure, apparently. What? Why is this? Ha what is? You've lied, Minecraft. You've lied to me this day. Uh, okay. Well, food is sorted. Now I ever have to worry about food. I don't know whether I should be offended, by the way, because it did give me 15 carrots, which is really, really nice. But it also gave me 12 poisonous potatoes. I don't know who thought that was a good idea, but hey, I guess we'll take it. I guess the only thing now is for me to deconstruct this. However, because this is mainly underwater, this is going to be a pain. First iron thing I'm making is an iron axe. Oh, how the mighty have fallen. Oh, look at all this wood. There's so many inappropriate jokes I can make about holding logs and wood in my hand, but I can't do it because there are children watching. So that's 51. Uh, logs. I think that's pretty good. There's still more ship down here that I can obviously chop down, but I don't think I need to at the moment, so I guess we can leave. Is that a second ship? Now, I don't believe that ships can give the likes of saplings, but I'm fairly confident it can give me both moss blocks and bamboo, and as I have learned in recent videos, I can use both of those for tree growing, so let's see what we get. Smithing templates actually ain't bad. If that's a goal in the long term of this world, then I've got that one at least knocked out of the way. This definitely says buried treasure map. This definitely says buried treasure map. It's lying to me. It's a Dirty fucking stinking liar. Are you seriously turning night already? I spent the entire day just searching two ships. Ah, oh, this is not gonna go well. So the good news is we actually do have plenty of 
wood. The only problem is that it's very, very limited. Because after I take down these two ships, that's it. I have no more wood. But what I think I'm going to do is set myself up just a nice little platform over the water here. Just so I can um survive. Yeah, and I guess we'll, we'll call it that. Wait, why in the world am I using logs for this? Why did I think that was a good idea? I have a very limited supply of wood. Let's use it on stilts. Also, can you, like, go away? It would be funny if I could, like, drop the TNT on him, but I just don't think it would hit, sadly. You can vibe down there. Good old uh, Gerald. Shout out to Gerald down there. Oh, God, there's mo mobs galore. All right, well, a lot of this is sadly going to be waiting until the daytime. And place him, place him, and place him, place him. And place him, place him, and place him, place him, and place him, place him. Ah! Oh, oh my goodness, you scared the jeebus out of me. Also, sheep are on my island. Oh, this actually is fantastic. I love that the first two things I made with this iron is an axe and shears. Oh, nobody noticed me. Nobody knows. Okay, I, I got a brown bed. It's gonna look like I poop the bed, but who cares? There's gonna be a lot of brown in this world as well. I'm leaving. L leaving. Learn it. You know what? I tried. I tried my best. Reaper, come at thee. Your mother sleeps around a lot. Nope. I missed. <laughs> I'm having way too much fun here. Me and this tiny island are having a, a, a cracking time. There you go. Honestly, it's only three sheep, but if I breed them, that'll make like six, and that's like a lot of sheep. I literally am actually quite close to running out of wood here. <laughs> I'm gonna have to start chopping more wood from the ships because I'm using it all for a freaking platform. Platform achieved. I'm sure somebody will be proud of me for that one. Now to use, obviously, our very, li very limited resources of wood. Make fences. I can't believe all this wood, and I am made this many slabs, a bed, a couple of tools, some stairs, and some fest. I literally started this series by saying this is a limited supply of what? Is that a horse? I can't believe this island has horse, free sheeps, and your mum. <laughs> Uh, all this you will again! All right, then, all things considered, this is a fantastic start. Now, let me, uh, let me get some seeds. My goodness, you could play golf off of this green. Yes, things were going well. With all the carrots and the wheat seeds I have been able to obtain, and now with the animals spawning on the island, eventually food will be very... Who the hell are you? Huh? I don't know. Wh why are you sa Why are you here? Oh, somebody over there paid me 10 bucks to sit here and listen to you yap on about it. Whatever you're talking about. Yap on. Oh, I mean, that's a bit rude. I mean, you have been yapping. Stop saying yapping. Uh, I'll do what I want. Well, fine. Just, 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 just shut up and listen, okay? I'm sorry. Can you start again? I only just showed up, and I feel like I missed the first part of the story. No, no, no. It, it, it'd be bad for the watch time. What the hell is a watch time? Uh, 26 seeds, 13 little carrots. It's a start. My guy, you are not invited to the wood collecting ceremony. I thought I'd made that. Excuse me. Excuse, excuse me. Sir. 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 No, you come over here. I see you over there. This is what I'm doing on my Saturday night. Screaming at drowns. Could be out there partying like one of the cool kids. But instead, I'm playing my... Why? That scared the jeebus out of me. Oh, my God. This is why I don't play horror games. Well, that's unfortunate. I do not have health or armor or, or anything to protect myself. Oh, they're all coming up. They're, they're okay. The party has apparently started and it's right on here. I have a bow. I might have a bow. I don't have a I do I don't have an arrow in my face. Or my gut. Here's the problem, duck. I ain't got no food. I got carrots, but oh suspicious too. This will go well. Okay, that was poison. So my plan is to make a bit of a staircase, I guess, over here. That leads, like, one way will lead to carrot, one way will lead to potatoes, and one way will lead to wheat. Problem is, right now, I don't actually have the potatoes because they're all poisonous. But I can at least make a start on the carrots and the wheat. So I'm going to need a lot more dirt. So let me go ahead and flatten this little area out. Guys, it's a floater. <laughs> uh, I think ironically that joke I just made was about as unfunny as the kid saying it's a floater. I have unironically become cringe. In case it's not obvious what I'm trying to do with this, by the way. It's something I have built before, but in case you're new to the channel, I'll slap it on the screen. Kind of the design that I'm going for here. I've made it a couple of times. It always looks good. I also need food. I think rotten potatoes. Why do I still have these? Look at my gear. This is the weirdest setup I think I've ever had in Minecraft. This chest plate is never gonna break. Do I need to turn it blue? No. Am I gonna do it anyway? Absolutely. Sadly though, I kind of have no food left. Probably just gonna have to sit a while and uh, watch the world go by. This is my new AFK platform. And you know what you do on the AFK platform? Here, let me show you. So you just sat there? Uh, that, yeah, for like two days. But why? My guy, I, I had no food. I was going to starve if not. Why didn't you go and get kelp? 
Better yet? Didn't you have string? Couldn't you make a fishing rod? Oh, you don't even need a fishing rod anymore. You can just go into water and kill fish. Oh, oh, okay, my guy, my guy, okay, like, okay. Why didn't you use the time to build a house? Oh, okay, dude, bro, like, oh, okay. There's a freaking cow on the island. There's chickens over here. I still find it funny that there's just one horse. That's it, just one horse over here. Well, if I can't eat carrots and I can't eat wheat, yes, I can get myself some kelp. I'm gonna need so much coal for this. I'm also gonna drown. I lied directly to your face. I guess it's uh, I guess it's time we do a little bit of a dig down. Whilst I have been on this island as well, there has been noises, and I've just found out where the noise is coming from. How the hell is this happening? Yeah, all things considered, this cave uh, kind of sucks. But I literally came down here for cobblestone and coal, and I have that, so I can't really complain that much. You know what they say? Desperate times. Desperate measures. Did that really just feed me half a hunger hunch? Is that all kelp does? Right then, uh, where where was I? Oh yeah, I was doing this. Oh, hello. Well, don't you look absolutely dangerous? I guess before we mine anything, I should probably try and make this ravine as safe as possible. All the dangerous and deadly things in here, like this tiny slime. It may look innocent, but trust me, this thing will murder me in a heartbeat given the opportunity. Stand by it. This is the ravine before the mine, and this is the ravine after the coal mine. Nearly a hundred pieces of iron and another hundred pieces of coal, which is pretty fantastic, all things considered. I actually missed the lapis. I don't know how I did that. Thank God I didn't leave the seven lapis behind. My goodness. So, oh, more lapis. All right, correction to my early statement. I got every ore in this mine that isn't lapis, apparently. Why is there a single witch up here? I was just hanging out. Anyway, I know I've said I'd go to this green, green. Wow. Oh my god. Did I just say green? My goodness. Anyway, there's dirt right there. That was unnecessary. Right then. I want to make it clear, by the way, that if I decide to do one of those edits where, like, every frame is me placing a new piece of dirt, I really hate doing that edit, and I hate watching that edit, so I hope you enjoy that edit. Then don't do it. Huh? If you don't like doing it, then don't do it. You know what? I don't like you very much, you know that? Okay, then, so part one of this is done. The platforms are now set up. The next two parts is part one. I need to get myself some redstone so I can lead it up to here so I can actually release the water when the time comes. As well, I probably need to get some water sources down the side as well. So uh, let me quickly do that, maybe. Don't worry, guys. I'll make sure you're all fed. I really hope I gave two of each, but I'm pretty sure one of them. I'm pretty sure the cow ate one of them. The, the fat bat. Oh, Nick. No. The thing is, when I started this episode, I was thinking, all right, my goals are to make a house, which is half done, was to make farms, which are half done, and then to get armor and get enchants, which is half done. I just can't focus on one task. That being said, I'm probably going to go and get myself some diamonds. Two hours later. Okay, it's two hours later. You can, you can tell because of the transition that I just did. And as fun as it would be to watch a lot of these crops grow, I instead am going to go into the mines, and I'm going to swing my pickaxe, you guessed it, from side, side to, to side. side. There will be a day where I clean up this infantry and make this chest look good but it is not this day. day so what we're gonna do is we're gonna pick a spot right over here and we're gonna dig <gasps> a cave oh and diamonds all right well that just made life very very easy that's a second diamond over there please don't be oh okay yay whoa that was a very very pathetic yay <laughs> I was like trying to be all like upbeat and everything. I, I just, that's not me, guys. I'm sorry. Is this enough diamonds? It is. I can make myself the elusive enchant table. Well, with the diamonds got, we just need to get ourselves redstone. If I get like two stacks, I don't know why my voice went so high pitched, but if we get two stacks. David okay, Turner, my, my name, name is Doug Demadone, Homer of the Ducks Dan Demadone. That's bad. Oh, that's really bad. Oh my God. Do you know how annoying that would have been? To die right there. There would have been so much egg on my face. If I'm also right, I should be good for redstone now. My pickaxe! <laughs> Not the iron pickaxe. If only I didn't have all the iron in the world. Oh my god, there is a lot of mobs here. Oh my goodness gracious. How did the skeleton survive? How the arrow in the neck hasn't killed me for the record? I have no idea. Right, so this is pretty much how this is gonna work. It looks kind of miserable on the side of the thing, but if I put a water bucket here now, that should go all the way down and it'll do one of two things. Firstly, it, well, that kind of ruins things. Now what will happen when the time comes, when all these crops drop, they should be pushed right into here. Now I just gotta do the same thing on the other side. There we go, the water source is now done. As soon as all these crops grow, it'll be fantastic. There is one more thing I'll need to do. Well, it took a bit of faffing about, but I believe, Ladies and gentlemen, if I do this...
it doesn't work. As you can see, all the crops are gone, which means this now fully works. I kind of ruined it by accidentally triggering it whilst I wasn't recording because I was spent way too long trying to figure this out. Well, hey, it's working. It's fine. Do need to add some sort of railing here to stop it from shooting out though. That much is uh, that much is clear. Now, admittedly, it looks horrible. In fact, it looks absolutely terrible. But the most important thing is that it works. You also have made some friends along the way. The sad part is that even after I get this bit done here, I'm not done because I have to do it again. The good news is this shouldn't be too hard, to be fair. Actually, if I'm good enough, I might even be able to connect all the rest of it into one spot. And here is the carrot area uncompleted and here is the completed version this is uh this is the moment of truth now a couple of things i want to point out was this one is made of deep slate this one is made of cobble it honestly kind of looks a bit terrible the good news is i don't care i can fix it later that being said the most important thing is does it work oh it looks like it does oh it looks like it does as well oh that's fantastic look at that go look at that drop even better is that it works on both. So now we have a fully successful wheat area and a fully successful carrot area. Isn't that fantastic? It's not fully done. I want to put some hoppers down there when I get the opportunity. And obviously, I haven't fully filled out the carrot or wheat area. So that will come up in the future. As well, I'm going to need to get myself some tastes to make a third area right there. But I think right now we can all agree that as of this moment, I think my food situation is, 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 is safe. I think I'm good. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to add a little tick -a on the uh, on the whole sorting out my food situation. One of the three goals that I wanted to uh, sort out this first episode. And I think I've done well to sort it out. And so one of my original tasks was complete. It was definitely a challenge, but as long as I remember to replant, I will never run out of food. Good job, my guy. But what about the other two tasks? Oh, okay, uh, and who are you? The replacement for the second guy. Remember, you threw him out the window. <laughs> Dude, I so did that, yay. You hear him do the Wilhelm scream? It definitely uh, isn't something worthwhile to look at, I'll agree. But the most important thing is that it will get me through the starvation side of Minecraft. So, uh, yeah, that's the most important thing. Anyway, we have uh, a couple more things we want to take off. I am very close to running out of food again. This is the only wood that I have. So, very, very soon, I am going to have to start chopping up one of the ships again. But for right now, we need to sort out another problem we have. And that is, we need to get ourselves some enchantments. One question I want would like to ask though and like i say this is kind of a new area for me i'm used to doing like all big projects in one go and i kind of want to do things a bit slower this time usually i see first episodes of hardcore minecraft let's plays and they sort of just i made a joke by the start it's the perfect start where they get full neverite armor make a huge base a beacon and all that kind of stuff and so far i've done the equivalent of like the first couple of days of minecraft you know get iron armor get enchants make a somewhat okay farm is that okay i guess my question is would you prefer bigger projects all in one video or do you uh, would you be okay with this kind of stuff because i'm not gonna lie i've really enjoyed doing this i've really enjoyed like doing like a nice i'm just gonna do what i can in one video and hope for the best hopefully it's entertaining for you i mean if you're if you're this far along then i've you've got a nothing better to do which i uh, get that one out i'm trying to talk to the audience i remember what i was saying oh yeah or b you're genuinely enjoying it to be fair i only need 14 and usually these lava sources have like lava underneath i mean i can hear more lava i'm trying to do that with an iron pickaxe ignore me and that'd be 14, lads. Don't you love it when you're just sort of leaving the cave and then you accidentally find yourself some diamonds that you left over? Oh, isn't that just the best? 11 diamonds spare, two for the, uh... The, the table and then what does that leave me with? That's nine, so I guess I could make myself like a... There's even more here, what is this? Oh my god, all right. Apparently, I missed freaking Diamond City back here. That uh, gets me to 16, so that's 14 diamonds spare after I get this all said and done. That's pretty good. Ba -ba -ba -da -da. My goodness, a 14 diamonds. I can do so much for 14 diamonds. You have no idea. That being said, people, I think now is a perfect time to end off the first episode. What do you and mean? so, my tale must come to an end. For now, my friends. For now. Wow, what a great tale I was always here for. But I must know, what if I want to hear more tales of the adventure? Ah, that is simple, my friends. You'll have to like the video to show support and subscribe to the channel to follow along. Fantastic. I'll do that. And can I just say, you have an amazing mustache. Why, yes. Yes, it is. I'm still getting paid, right? Dude, shut up! Well, we've made good progress today, Susan. I'll see you again same time next week and we'll take it from there, okay? Perfect. Alright, the next up is... Ugh. Haven hand. Come in and lay down, would you? Oh, doctor.
I have been suffering. Wait, wait, wait. <clears throat> if you're going to enjoy the video, then please consider giving it a like. And we are very close to hitting 200 crates. So if you could consider subscribing as well, we would really appreciate it. Who are you talking to? Don't worry about it. So, uh, you've been suffering? Oh, right. <clears throat> oh, Doc, the pain, the pain. Reminder, you're being charged by the hour. Right, um, so I've been on this island for the last few days now. And things at this point were honestly going great. I'm pretty much recording episode one and episode two back to back. The only real difference is that literally 10 minutes ago, version 20. 24W05B just came out. What is in version 24W05B? I got a Scooby-Doo. Not really important to the episode. Let's move on. So I think my plans for the second episode are relatively straightforward. I think I actually need to build this house. As much as I do love living on just a basic boring platform, I, I think I need to get a bit of an upgrade going on in here. I still need to deal with my uh, wood situation. Now, of course, I still have a bit more of the ships to cut down, but I really need to get myself a renewable source of wood sometime soon. And for this bit right here, there's not really much for me to do. I'm just gonna have to wait for the food to grow and I'll expand them, but that pretty much is my free goals for the day. Also, maybe expand this. Long story short, by the end of this episode, I'm gonna have some good farms, I'm gonna have some good trees, and I'm actually gonna have a house. Why am I throwing my mouse around like crazy? I don't know. Alright, I guess the first thing I should do is, uh, go enchant. I mean, that all sounds reasonable. A good couple of days to get some work done. I mean, what, what's really the problem here? Oh! Seriously, stop doing that. Sorry. Uh, so yeah, the, the problem, uh, the, the problem was Gregory. Who the hell is Gregory? There is also this horse. Um... <laughs> Oh. There was also this horse. I haven't really got an idea what to do with him being good old uh, Gregory. <laughs> Shout out to my boy Gregory. Maybe if I could build him like a little stable or something. I don't really know. Don't really have a saddle though. So I guess I'll have to get one of those at some point. It was such a simple idea. Make him a little stable, a little home. But to do that, I am going to need to get myself a saddle. I mean, I still don't see the problem. You could fish one. or Maybe you could trade one with a leather worker. Leather worker? I hardly know it. Right, thank you for that. Um, or you could even go to a bastion and get one. Well, before I did any of that, I decided to do some other basics. I took down the ships, went caving where I found myself a lush cave, collected a bunch of moss and azalea sapling things. I filled out the farms and honestly, I made a somewhat decent starter house. So you did quite a lot. That, that sounds pretty good. I, again, what's the problem though? <laughs> well, you know, I quite like walking down this little bushy garden. I'm not 100% sure if these guys will fully grow, but I guess I can check that out a little bit later. So I've already done a decent amount, but I I guess there is one more task I can consider doing, and that's for you, Mr. Gregory. I will build you a stable in time comes, but first things first, I think I need to get you a little saddle. If not, then, you know, you can roam around like you're on the place, so we can't be having that. So, Gregory, I'll make you a promise. This episode... D Gregory, I'm talking to you. Greg Gregory. Gregory. This episode does not end until I get you a saddle. Yes, I agree. Yes. All right, you, you're gonna look for a saddle, and I've, this is the last time I say this. What is the problem? My, my guy, look at the timestamp. Oh, Jesus Christ. I'm hoping for uh, an in and out five minutes kind of deal. Rick and Morty fans will understand. Also, whilst I'm here, I'm going to get a bunch of quads and some levels too. I've become quite fond of observers. I'm going to be honest with you. I'm also doing everything in my power to not say observer. I hardly know it. Every single time I say the word observer, there's a wolf forest next to me. And that's pretty good. The only sad thing about doing these kind of videos is that I don't have access to Optifine, which is fine. It's just that the fog kind of covers up a lot of the nether, so I can't really see as much as I normally would. If that isn't the definition of a first world problem, then quite Frankly, I don't know what is. Nope. Wait, what? Why did that arrow not fire? Got him. Oh, -ho. uh, you, you're not invited. What? Okay, why is there actually so many gas here? Oh my god, there's so many gas. I got this. Watch this. This is great shot of all time. Never mind. Okay, watch this. This is great shot of all time. Ow. Okay, watch this. This is the greatest shot of all time. Okay. Great shot of all time is gonna have to be postponed until later date. This could not be going worse. Uh, we, we should be fine. There's a good news. As long as we don't die right here. Okay, I am playing with fire, literally. Seriously, I didn't that. There is a fortress, but I'm pretty sure you can't get saddles in fortresses. I mean, I'm gonna check. This may be the worst chest in a fortress I think I've ever seen. It does make me think that I could potentially get a saddle in here. Take three diamonds. Hey, the smithing template's pretty nice. I do find it kind of funny that I found probably about six horse armors at this point. Actually, I'm going to take that diamond horse armor. Gregory deserves the finest style. And diamond horse armor, let me tell you, the finest style it'd be. I remember when I was younger, and actually to this day, I still don't know if it's true. People used to convince me all the time that gold horse armor is stronger than iron horse armor. And I am sat here probably 10 years after learning that information, and I still don't know which is the strongest horse armor. I just, I don't know why I thought I'd share that story. Also, I'm pretty sure 
this fortress uh, is done. But let me tell you, I kind of like that I don't know that information because in my head, maybe one day I'll figure it out myself. I realize now that I've mentioned all this, that I'm going to get like 20 comments being like, well, actually, it's Iron Horse armor. Why are you here? Yeah, I don't think there is a, there is a fortress uh, in this saddle. Nope, that's the right, let's try that again. I don't think there is a saddle in this fortress. Point is, I'm moving on to Greater Lands. Maybe I'll find one of those Bastion boys. Why? Ow! Why is it always my face? I could shoot anywhere in the world and they decide to always shoot my face. It's just so rude. Oh, well, that's absolutely delightful. I think with these series, like, I usually upload, like, every 10 days when I was doing my 100-day stencil, which I'm kind of taking a little break from, if you couldn't tell by recent videos. One thing I have noticed is that uh, I only have two carrots left, so I'm going to have to quickly stop and kill these boys. These five poor trucks will get me to a bastion. I believe, and I believed good. It would have made life easy to get it on the first chest, but beggars can't be choosers. And boy, am I begging to get the saddle. There's a lot of guys in here, and they are very unhappy that I... Well, to be fair, I kind of have broken into that home, and I'm kind of just looting all the place. So I, I kind of don't blame them for being a bit upsetting spaghetti at me. <laughs> Idiot. Oh, you can make that. Oh, God. Can I light you a fire? I like No, not... Oh, my God. What the heck? Oh, my God. What the heck happened then? I really just took the fattest cell I've ever seen in my entire life. I don't even, I don't even know how. The imminent problem is that I'm kind of running out of time before I have to go do something else. So unless I get one like in the next five minutes, I'm probably gonna have to skedaddle. You know what, Silk Touch? I can make use of that. Hey, snout trimming, I'll take that. Uh, I'll take the fortune one pick as well. I don't have any more chests available to me. Well, if there was ever a time to leave, now would be that time. I'm gonna skid out a lot of here. Well, I think we can all agree that that was a bit of a, a bit of a failure, all things considered. Long story short, I'm gonna come back tomorrow and I'm gonna find me a saddle. So, uh, tomorrow. It'd be day two, lads. It'd be day two. And then I want to spin my head around like that. So I actually have been a smart boy and I've done uh, some research. And I now know for a fact that saddles can spawn in both fortresses and bastions. So now I can just sort of look for them and uh, hope for the best. The first thing we need to do is we need to sort out our food situation. And I'm not fully confident that that will be sorted right here. Yeah, there's, there's going to need a lot more growing here. What else have I got? You know that feeling of when you're home alone and you go into the fridge to get some snacks, but there's not really snacks. I mean, there's sort of snacks, but there's not, you know, there's not really snacks. I mean, there's wheat and kelp. Oh, God, here we go again. I'm also going to go ahead and make myself a new diamond helmet. Yeah, I kind of like having a feather fallen, so I might just save these five. I think I'm just going to save these five. Looking snazzy haven. Looking good. Don't really know what happened to my shield. My prediction that it broke, so I Yes, we'll make a new one. <laughs> I'm not trying to say that my food source sucks balls. There's a lot of balls sucking over here. That sounded <laughs> wrong. That sounded Get very me. wrong. Mamma mia, do, 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 here we go again. This song doesn't really work if I can't include the music. I just sound like a very lonely man singing this. All right then, so last time we went that away, so I guess this time we're gonna go that away. And I, I have a good feeling today. You know what? I I, I feel. Like, uh, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna get it today. You know what I also found out about yesterday's adventure? Bastion that I found. So there's different kinds of bastions, if you don't know. And the bastion that I found uh, was called the Hogland Stables. And from what I can tell, that is legitimately the only bastion that can have a saddle in it. And of course, despite being the only one, I found zero saddles. Now, I'm not trying to say that that's pretty funny and I should point the laugh track, but uh, my feelings have been hurt. Minecraft really doesn't want to give me this win. Oh, hello. Oh, go away. Ooh, go away, go away, go away, go away. Go away, go away, go away. That was unnecessarily dramatic, all things considered. <laughs> uh, more never, right? More pork chops. Oh my god. This is fine. Everything is fine. The thing is, I don't think this is a Hoglin Bastion, so I guess I'm really only here for the loot. I will eventually need a Neverite uh, trim, so an upgrade finger, my Bob. Another trim. Soul speed booties. Actually, that's pretty good if I ever want to get away from soul sound. Oh, hello. Schmucks. <laughs> Ooh. Oh my word, my ankles are broken. Oh my god, my, my face is broken, probably. Okay, now I can sneak over, get all the good stuff. <laughs> that guy just killed himself to get to me. We'll take that. Oh my word, hello, 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 what's all this then? Just got myself, oh, I just got myself full diamond armor, pretty much. All right then, well, that was this bastion. Sadly for me, I'm basically out of food, so I may have to kind of quickly head home and see if I can uh, get some food. Actually, no, there's a crimson bite right here. I guess I'll go through that way. Yum, 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 yum. 
Anyway. Oh, thank you. Oh, my God. Been about an hour. I'm not here for you or your rods. Much as I would like to have your nice, firm, strong, warm rod in my hand. No, no, no. no don't, 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 don't make it like that, okay? I just want to search your chests. Get a nice grasp. You know, saddle it up and down if you want me. No, no, don't, don't make it like that. That being said, if these guys want to give me some head whilst that's happening. No, don't, don't, don't make it like that. Oh, baby, it's a triple. Oh, oh, oh we out of here. We done. The only problem is, is that uh, the portal is at zero, zero, and I am about 2,000 blocks away from that. I guess it's time we uh, we go home, as the kids say. I think this is the first warp forest I've seen this entire time, which uh, I should really make a note of it. Yep, definitely the first warp forest I've seen. All right, at least I know where it is, roughly. And actually, that actually got me to 30 levels as well, which I'm pretty happy about. My portal is, like, right here. Can you not just let me have this one? Wait, wait, wait you got Sit still. How did you shoot? How did... Okay, right, I'm sorry. I need to replay that quickly. How the hell did that guy shoot me? It's coming home. It's coming. Avon Ann's coming home. Well, I think all things considered, that was a pretty... So, uh, <coughs> try that again. Take that one from the top. Well, I think all things considered, that was a pretty successful journey. Wait, where's the saddle? Wait, what, what's happened here? What the hell's happened here? Did I not pick it up from the chest? I'm pretty sure I picked it up from the chest. Am I dumb? Am I stupid? I'm, I'm a moron. I'm a fool. I'm, I'm so, so stupid and I, and I kind of hate myself right now. Here I am, cleaning out my inventory and, and, and watch, what, ready? You ready? Here, here, there it is. There goes, there goes that, there goes that. What, why, why did I throw out the saddle? Why did I throw out the leather? Why, why did I not notice for 20 minutes? I don't believe that this is, I threw out the saddle. Why would I throw out the saddle? <laughs> Um, it's not funny, please continue. Well, well, I, well, I gave up for the day and decided to try it, something new on day three. Listen, I know that my best chances probably are to find a new fortress or even go back to that fortress. Couldn't find any chests that was, whilst I was there. And I could already see that some people already realize what I'm doing. But just in case it's not 1 million percent clear what I'm about to do, I'm about to fish and I'm going to catch a saddle that way. I've decided. I've decided. I'm going to sit down. I'm going to fish. And, and that's, that's life. That's going to be my life. I'm going to turn on some music. And I'm gonna fish. Three weeks later. A whole day of fishing. I walk away with nine cod, three salmon, one tropical fish, some leather booties, a puffer fish, and a partridge in a bloody pear tree. There is definitely better ways that I could be spending my time, but I just think that I, I don't want to endlessly explore the never again. And I, I think that this is nice. This is calming. It allows me to speak to you guys, the audience. And for those who struggle to pay attention, you know, the ones who need the crazy, super fast, cool edits, then uh, please enjoy the dancing gif in the bottom right corner. Maybe that will keep your attention because I'm going to ask you guys a question. What I'm, what I'm going to do for, for every episode, I think I'm going to do sort of a comment question of the day, which I I know it's very old school, but I guess this let's play is pretty old school. All things considered, I mean, I'm fishing. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to pin a comment. I'm going to pin the comment down below. And I would like you guys to ask me a question. Just a question. And the most interesting, the funnest, the coolest, the uh, just just an interesting question. I'll answer in the next episode. I'll spend a little bit of time doing something and then I'll answer the question. And I think that would be cool. So uh, if you've got a cool question that you want to ask me, then, uh, then respond to the pin comment. And I'll try to do that in every episode. Many months later. What I will say about my very calm and cool part of this episode is that there's just something about playing Minecraft in the rain and fishing that just, oh, it, it just fills me with joy. I mean, just, just listen to this. Fantastic. Oh my god, this may be the best book I think I've ever seen in my entire life. Oh, I have to put it on my boots, right? Unbreaking Prop 4 and Depth Strider 3? Question is, can I afford an anvil? Oh, I mean, I guess. It cost all my levels, but these boots are so good compared to the rest of my gear, my goodness. Anyway, what was I doing? Oh, oh right. So much later that the old narrator got tired of waiting and they had to hire a new one. I guess now is the time. Oh, the, 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 I just got a cool bow, so this may be a cool time for something. Um, 
I mean, it's not as good as the book, but hey, we'll take it. Close to the hour mark of fishing. I'm, 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 I've been fishing for a while. Unfortunately, fishing after a while is kind of uh, not very fun to make it to a video. Now, I'm not saying it's not very fun to do, but I don't know how in the world I'm going to turn this hour of footage into watchable content. So I really <laughs> hope that you guys were able to make it this far. I have 11 puffer fish. What am I going to do with 11 puffer fish? Well, I guess we're going to go back to the Denver tomorrow. Yes, tomorrow, because I don't want to play Minecraft right now. It be day five, uh, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, I could have recorded yesterday, turns out. So uh, uh, I'm not going to go fishing today, would you believe? I think I'm going to go back into the nether. Soul speed free is really nice, but I'm going to take all my levels. Yeah, I'm doing it. I'm doing it. I'm going to be... I'm, it sounds like I'm going to be spending a lot of time in the nether, so I guess I need the best kind of netherite boots. Bear with me a second. It's, it's just so satisfying when this happens, you know? You know, there's many reasons why I love this kind of farm setup. Firstly, because, well, I'm very lazy to individually break everything and put it back down. Secondly, because the actual result of all of this is that uh, I have nearly six stacks of carrots, so much spare speeds, and look at that <laughs> wheat. Everything about this is fantastic, and I'm not going to starve anytime soon. So who wants some snacks? Oh, you guys want some snacks. You, you guys could have all the snacks. And well, I think it's time yet again. You ever hear the song, Mamma Mia, Here We Go Again? Again by the band Mamma Mia. Actually, oh my, what the hell? I was trying to make a stupid joke. What was that about? I just got Fazbear jumped by a magma slime. What year is this? I ended up spending another three hours searching around the nether. I've just looked it up, by the way, and a loot for saddles says you have about a one in three chance of getting one in a chest. What about bastions? Well, there's different types of bastions, but if you get a Hawkland stable, you have about a one in eight chance. That would have been nice to know before I started this adventure. Oh, finally, thank you. I've been searching for about 45 minutes. Uh, uh, maybe a little less actually. So it's nice, it's nice to actually find one. I'm not gonna lie. <gasps> you know what? Worth it. It's it's all been worth it for this moment right here. Got myself some pick step. Oh, whoop. doesn't really hit as hard as the, the, the normal one. What are these? Unbreaking two golden boots. Oh, just are you good? What are you doing? The heck was that? Double chest. Uh, well, even a double chest as well. They gave me twice as useless. Nurse! Oh, oh my god. How in the world did I do that? Why are you screaming again? Why are you all screaming? I mean, the never upgrades actually aren't that bad. It's just... They're not what I want. That's all the chests in here. If you guys keep doing that, I swear to God, I will come down there. That being said, there's always a treasure room. So you gotta search the treasure room. Uh, so far, this is a terrible treasure room. Oh, wow, a second pick step? I didn't know that was possible. You know what? I I've been speaking to the Minecraft gods recently, and uh, I've got a feeling that this is it. This is the end of my journey. That th I'm going to open a chest right here, and I'm going to get myself one of those bastions. Just be careful, because there's a lot of lot of guardians. That's, that's why it's so protected. This is what I'm telling myself. You ready for the 360? It was a 180. I don't care. 360. Oh, -ho! that would go in a 2012 Call of Duty sniper montage. You ready to be to do it again? Alright, okay, I know I missed, but I'm definitely tempted to do a whole uh, action replay, because I'm fairly confident I hit that guy, yeah. I'm pretty sure he went for his chest. Didn't realize I was fighting the guy from the Matrix in this moment, but hey, we move on. Oh my god, a third pick step disc. Again, not a problem, just surprising. Oh my god, a fourth pick step disc. Again, not a problem, just surprising. <laughs> Losing my goddamn mind. This is probably the worst of the bunch. I can't wait to get infinity, by the way, and just not have a use for these arrows ever. New trimming, new diamond shovel, more arrows. When I started this adventure, I was thinking, you know what? I thought to myself that I really need to get myself a sad. However, what I actually needed this entire time was four copies of pig step, two stacks of arrows, and two diamond shovels. What an idiot I am. Oh, I also guess another snout trimming. I guess that works. Oh, oh my word. Oh my word. That could have been very bad. That was nearly an egg on face moment if there ever was one. All right, well, I'm not seeing any more chests. So, I mean, there's a chest there actually. Oh my God. Oh my God. Oh my God. Oh, go, 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 up, go. Up. This is slabs. Eat the apple, eat the apple, eat the apple. Don't do this to me. Uh, eat, okay, this is really bad. Eat the apple again. Okay, this is, this is fine. We're fine. We're fine. Oh my god, the music is so loud! I mean, like, the edited music. I'm pretty sure I'm okay now. This is bad. Okay. Oh my god. That sucked. <laughs> I was not a fan of that moment. Ah, uh, the classic game of spleef. 
I'm gonna die in this bastion, aren't I? Well, this is the last chest. There's nothing in here. I'm done. And there's nothing in here. Oh, actually, I lied. There's a like third diamond shovel. Oh, thank you. Thank you, Lord. Thank you. And I thought the bruise were the smart ones. Well, I'll point out, by the way, that during my adventures, I realized that I am now on day 50. Don't remember what day I actually started this, but I'm fairly confident that if this was a 100 days video, I would have scrapped it a long time ago. Got some more snacks. Anybody? Anybody? Oh, another trimming. Don't even need to duplicate them. I can just find them. I can't believe that's the first piece of ancient debris I found this entire time. Oh, wow. He killed his friend. He said, what? Oh, he's killed me. Oh. Uh, oh. Uh, how am I alive? No, 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 no. Oh, oh. Sometimes you get away with it. This is one of those times. I'm, I'm getting so tired that I think I need a break from this. Oh my word. Right, I'm gonna see if I can grab the center checks and then I'm gonna leave and uh, then I'm probably gonna be done with day five. I can't believe it's, I'm not even like, when I say day five, let me be clear, I'm not talking about five Minecraft days. I'm talking about five IRL days. Um, I mean, we'll take it. Mending pants, you say? Well, and I never write Inga. Oh, the problem is there is so much good stuff here. I don't know what to give. Oh my God, gentlemen. I'm trying to steal your things. Can't you let me do that in peace? And yeah, nothing here. All right, then. Let's go home again. Uh, welcome home, Haven. How you doing? Look at all this stuff. This stuff is so good. You want to show how much effort I put into trying to get this done? You see this double chest? Everything in this double chest is everything that I have obtained in my time in the Never, at least as far as I can tell. And some, somehow, incredibly, despite my, I don't even know how many hours it's gonna take me here, somehow I do not have a saddle. How do I not have a saddle? I even missed a couple of things. Nothing special, but still, just, just look at that. That doesn't even include the diamond armor that I'm wearing, or the food that I may have got. I, I can't believe, I just can't believe how much time. I can't believe I'm about to say what I'm about to say next. Okay, six days ago, I started an adventure to get a saddle. Th that's it, just a saddle. That, that, that's all I was going, no, I wasn't going for a new rapple or a never right, or just, just a saddle. And uh, here I am, with no saddle, but today I'm getting serious. I've soldiered up, I have my army skin on. We are getting that saddle today, I've decided. I think a change of skin, among other things, will get me ready to go. Do I have enough levels to do this, by the way? Oh, I do. I know I've made this joke a couple of times, but uh, <coughs> mama mia, da, 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 here we go again. I want to and gonna have to bleep out what I just said. My, my, where do I go this time? You guys enjoy my song? Figure this whole Minecraft thing doesn't work out, making myself an ABBA fan band. I really feel like I can nail Dancing Queen on, on the karaoke. I don't know about you guys. Oh, Fortress. Oh, okay. Could this be the end of my very, very long adventure? Boy, do I hope so. Actually, I feel like I've been at this fortress before. Oh, I seem to remember this. Uh, oh. Okay, the arrow went through that guy. And I have people in the comments telling me that that doesn't happen. It so does happen. Stop using the freaking pigman as a shield. That's cheating. Anyway, I have people tell me that that doesn't happen. That so happens. Look, look, look at that. Watch that replay. Watch it again. Now watch it upside down. Watch it at times four speed. No, 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 not times four. At times 0.25 speed. There you go. Oh, well, no, now. Uh, yep, I have been here before I put that sword in a very long time ago. Oh, I've been going in circles. Isn't that fun? Okay, end my misery in three, two, one. No. Oh. Okay, end my misery in three, two, one. Oh, come on. There is no way in the world I have found another fortress that doesn't have a saddle in. I refuse. I refuse. I've definitely not been here before, though. So I have hope. I think it's the hope that kills you, though. Like, running towards this chest. And then I'm going to get a saddle in three, two, one. I don't want freaking nine iron. Oh, I don't. <laughs> okay, you're you're staying right there. You are staying right there. You ain't moving. Sit there. We are going home. It is over. To give you an idea of how much I have searched, my portal is at zero zero, and everywhere within 1,000 to negative 1,000 on each coordinate has been searched. I'm also going to do a bit of a comparison, because it's currently on day 63. I'm sure Editor Haven will show you what day I started this on, and also show you how long I have been searching the Never for. Not even the Never, just how long I've been searching for a saddle for, because spoiler alert, it's been a lot. I'm going home, and none of you can stop me. I'm going home, whichever way home is. Don't understand. 
How glorious this feels. <laughs> this was a week of my life. <laughs> this was a week of my life. Oh my word, all right then. And it's all for this moment right here. Well, actually, I'm just gonna take a quick break so I can expand the uh, sugar cane. How did a brown sheep escape? How did you do that? I'm impressed, but how? And it all comes to this moment right here where your boy is on a horse. Freaking me and Gregory have done it. We've done it. Was it worth it? I don't know. I'm sure my therapist won't complain about getting paid. And that gets me here. Wow, that must have uh, that must have sucked admittedly. Anyway, you are three hours over time limit, so you owe me about $18,000. Where the hell did he go? Welcome back to the island, peeps. How we all doing? I still don't know how this brown sheep escaped. So instead of spending what was probably about 10 hours in the nether, I'm thinking for this episode, I don't do that. I do something else. I think this island is pretty bare. I think that there's some basics going on on it. I mean, the house is kind of cool. And really, that's about all that's going on. So what I'm planning to do for this episode is actually make this island like tropical, like a paradise. I want this my island. So I'm going to focus this episode on making this island look not just good, great. And the best place to start is by finishing off my farms. I was sick, by the way, if you couldn't tell. So what I'm planning to do is, as you know, I've already got the carrot here and I've already got the wheat there. So I need to get myself a potato. Now, that's obviously easier said than done. So what's the plan here? Well, the very, very simple plan will actually be for me to grab myself a boat. Do I not have a boat? And start searching the nearby waters. Now, as stated in the rules, I'm not allowed to enter any lands, but searching the waters around me, that is a-okay. But since I obviously can get carrots from sunken ships, it's a fair assumption to think that I can also get taters as well. So the plan is simple. First things first, let's find ourselves a sunken ship and get ourselves some potatoes. The glorious thing about this island is that there is like a giant body of water around it. Yourself in words and spoke. Be your life with arms wide open. Today is where you both begin. The rest is still unwritten. So I uh, didn't find a sunken ship. Rip, I know. Now, technically, there's a couple of little lake things that I could go down to search more, but I just feel like going down there kind of sort of breaks away this little ocean that I've got around me. And there's a nice little circle area around that I kind of don't want to, you know, disrupt. Unfortunately, right now, this world is going to be potato-less. Like if you cry every time, boys. So I guess we're going to have to work on some other things. So the things that I want to build is I want to still make the horse for Gregory. I still need to finish off the platform here. So do I have Dark Oak Spare? Oh, I do. Right, then I guess this is the first thing I'm going to do today. Now, imagine that, but times four. Like this. It was perfect. Perfect. Everything. Down to the last... Minute. Minor detail. Uh, at least if I say that, then I might be able to convince at least like four of you that it is actually really good. It's it's fine for what it is. That being said, I think I'm done building with Dark Oak for a while. I think Dark Oak is uh, overused to say the least. Uh, it's not because I, I kind of used all the Dark Oak. But now I, I, I don't feel like building with Dark Oak anymore. You know, I think I think I'm fine with, with not doing that. Oh my God, look at that. Tree. My goodness. Sure, they require bone mealing, but it's still wood. I always never really understood why they made made azalea trees the way they are. Like, they're just oak, but, like, they're not oak. I always thought he was a bit daft. I'm sure everybody cares about that opinion, and that's why I told you it. All of that for just 48 logs. It doesn't even feel like that much, I'll be honest with you. Oh, yeah, I forgot to give us these things. Also, like, you know how I placed the flower version of these things? You don't get the flower versions back. Oh, I lied. I, wow, I just did, I was such a dirty rotten liar there. Now, it's not necessarily centered, but who cares? So, I guess next is for Mr. Gregory. So, I've got to build myself a nice little barn. I guess I'm going to do some research before I start building it. I'm not a very good builder. You see that building behind me? I stole it from the internet. So, yeah, I'm going to steal some more. <laughs> Well, it's probably cost all of my spruce wood, but I have everything ready, so, uh, let's get building. Now, 
and it is complete it's not massive it's not meant to be massive but as i nice little humble home for dear old gregory i think it's great so let's uh let's see what he thinks what do you think gregory Talking to a Minecraft horse. I mean, he looks happy, I guess. As much as a Minecraft horse can look happy. I guess the next job will be to collect some sugarcane and start working on some enchants. Because I do have one plan that I would like to do. Why is the level 30 enchanted? So we're going to go ahead and uh, set up some automatic sugarcane farms. And I guess since everything is kind of automatic over here, I'll just build it over here. The plan will be relatively simple. But if I have like a four hopper thing set up here, I can set up a little thing to come collect it. And then all the shrewd cane will get pushed into there. And we're good to go. So now we just need to set up some redstone. And we all know how good I am with redstone. So let's do this. Turns out that I don't have enough uh, cobblestone to do this. So I'm just going to uh, mine a little bit. Bear with me. All right. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to say it one time. Just, just, just one time. And then that's it. Okay. <coughs> Observer. I, I hardly know her. <laughs> okay. All right, then. Thank you. Thank you for that one. I don't have enough cobblestone, but you, you get the point. Thank you. Thank you. Admittedly, I don't actually think the hard part is going to be setting up the redstone. It's more than likely just going to be, uh, you know, making it look good. Now, here's the truth about me. I don't know how to make things look good. So just uh, bear with me and, and uh, we'll have a look at this at the end of it and be like, this is an abomination. Or look at it and be like, it's, it's perfect. My vote is on the abomination. Ironically, what they used to call me in high school. And it's this moment right here, this moment right freaking here, when I realize that these are not meant to be observers, they're meant to be pistons. I've done it the wrong way around. Welp. No one else can feel it for you, only you can let it in. No one else. And here you can see the uh, limitations of my redstone skills because getting this redstone signal down to that piston is uh, not as easy as you'd think. I know for a fact that there's going to be a couple of comments about the way I'm doing this for the record. Let me be clear though that uh, I ain't no redstone boy. I'm uh, I'm a survivalist, an adventurer. All right then, how in the world am I going to get it up? That's what she said. <laughs> That work? There's no way that works. It doesn't. It was a dream. That dream is dead. All right, how's this? Still doesn't work. What am I doing wrong? You know, the funny thing is I've literally made this like three or four times in the past. I ain't got a clue what I'm doing here. I think the difference is last time though, the observers was one lower, but I just feel like they probably should go upwards, Max. Wait, can... You should kids go up four. They can only go up three blocks. So yet again, I've made a stupid mistake. It's not hard. I've done this before. I've done this so many times before. What am I doing? I've literally done this so many times before. All right, then let's try that again. This is probably like the third time that I've placed something just to replace it. And uh, again, I've done this before. I'm fairly confident it wasn't this hard last time. The good news is we're getting there. The bad news is after all this is done, I'm going to have to wait for it all to uh, grow and stuff. And that's going to be fun. And if I'm correct... It is all good to go. I just have to make it look good, which, uh, boy, that'll be fun. Can I, can you not? I, I have things to do. You're not invited. We've already gone over this. Oh, copper. All right, so the ultimate goal here is I'm going to have hopper set up like this. Not like that. So what should happen now is if a, if an item drops there, it'll go... Oh, it's already showing. Why did... Oh, there's no water here now. I have gaffed up the fuck massively. I really thought this would be like a five-minute job. How in the world is this taking so long? A bit of a faff, but we got here in the end. There we go. We managed to fix it all. So here's how this works. It's uh, relatively simple. Basically, you'll drop uh, some sugarcane. will drop like here or here. Uh, or maybe even here or here. 
like that. It will drop into this little water system, and it's kind of hard to see, but there's hoppers right there. And once they drop into those hoppers, it will slowly feed it into this chest where all the sugarcane will be. Now, it's just a simple case of getting to it. So it's not the prettiest thing in the world, but basically if I ever want to check out my sugar cane situation, I can just pop down here and I can't open this chest. But now I can. There we go. And now we just have to open this chest and we can collect the sugar cane. I just got to now make this look pretty. So uh, this is what it looks like before the build. And here is it completed. Now, admittedly, it's not like anything special. I just had like some walls and a roof and a bit of glass to it. But uh, honestly, it does what it needs to do. It, it looks like something. Now, I kind of thought about covering the redstone, but there's no way I can really cover the redstone without looking terrible. Maybe I'll come back to it later and readjust it if, if I don't like it. But for right now, it's fine. I also don't mind the roof. It sort of indents in itself. Uh, I mean, it, it sort of does something similar on that roof. And well, for now, I actually kind of need the, uh, the sugar cane to grow. So I guess I'm going to have to go and... Uh... You ever see what I did the first episode where I went AFK? Well, here, let me show you. Well, it's been a few days. We're now on day 93, so I've definitely waited a while here. And, uh, well, uh, yeah, I think I have enough sugarcane. However, a small problem that I didn't really take into consideration is that I only have eight level and three books to my name. Didn't really, uh, consider that, all things considered. And you'd think, after 93 days in this world, I probably would have, uh, figured out a level solution, but unfortunately, I've not. I've only ever had the one cow spawn for me, along with all these animals. Also, Mr. Horse is solo YOLO, so unfortunately, it's not like I can breed him. How are you still out? Which means... Uh, I have to... I have to go back into the nether to get leather. I don't believe this is happening. Go into the nether. Into the nether. I just left here. All right, time to man up. The, the plan is really simple. I need to get myself the equivalent of about 45 leather. That right there is 11, so I need to get myself 34 pieces of leather. I'm pretty sure there's a crimson bar right, right next to me, so bear with me. All right, then. Now to slaughter all the hoglins until I have the leather I need. They take hits. And now rub them drop leather, isn't that nice? Alright, well, this, uh, this should be it. To be fair, it actually really didn't take that long. This comes from biome is massive. And there you go, there's number 45. You know what? I'll take 46. Actually, I do need a 46. Actually, no, what am I talking? I already had the... Oh, well, okay. Well, it's wasted a little bit of time, but it's fine. And just like that, I've got myself 15 bookshelves. Do I, I, I was hoping I'd have space in here, but I just clearly don't. So we'll set it up right here. Let me just clear some space. Really does like a spot, doesn't it? And there we go. The level 30 enchanter is set up. Now, I don't have 30 levels, sadly, but uh, getting 30 levels won't be too bad. Now, I just want to make this place look good. So I'm going to start uh, working on some paths. And after messing around a little bit, um, I think I've uh, made this island look much better than it originally was. Um, I had some nice grass, some paths, so just a couple of trees just to really spice up the place. And all things considered, I actually think this place looks really nice now. Obviously, it still has a lot more work to go, but all things considered, that's pretty good. You want to know the cool thing about ending right here? That says day 99. I have literally just about to reach the day 100 mark. I feel like I've done a lot to you know, add some things to make this island come really, really alive. And I'm really happy with that. So I'm going to... I'm gonna take a nap and we're gonna go to day 100. And that says 99. And that says 100. I'm so grateful this wasn't just a full 100 days video originally because, oh my goodness, spending a half of it in the nether was brutal. All right, then we're done here.